Here's the Milan team. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Simon Kerr plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in central defence. And the striker is someone who can finish with the best of them, Ante Rebic. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Chalanolu. Can he get them in front? And there it is! Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter, have to deal with the danger. Not good enough at all defensively. Alexander Arnold, dangerous looking through ball. Is it going to be? It's gone in beyond the goalkeeper, and Liverpool are level. Oh, Derek, it's like the manager scored. He's one of the players all of a sudden. Great stuff. Well, here's the replay, and it's an exquisite ball over the defence. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. And slipped through beautifully. Mane. And a goal! He's put it away, a celebratory moment. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines. But he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. time Liverpool will be taking a lead with them into the return leg well to be honest with you Derek after the first leg in a semi-final I'd take any advantage it is a small one not comfortable one but you'd rather go into the second leg up than down so lot to play for still very very tight well, Sadio Mane will probably be smiling from ear to ear on the back of this Lee your verdict as regards Mane well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. This is the Milan starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Alessio Romagnoli plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. And leading the line is Ante Rebic. Samu Castillejo. Oh, big chance! Rebic! Well, that helps the call. Level on aggregate, but trailing on away goals, they need another. Well, here's the goal again. It's a clever ball through and a great run, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, no luck keeping possession. He's in with a chance, and a goal it is! How significant could that prove to be?
Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely ball into the box. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And teammates to play it to. A glorious chance. And in it goes. And now they're firmly in control. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens and the timing to get this spot on. Yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Played into the centre of the box. And it goes! A goal, but still plenty to do. Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. There's the referee's whistle. And it is official now. The visitors are on their way to the final. Well, Derek, just look at the celebrations, and quite rightly so. Sometimes semi-finals can be a little bit too much for players. One side has to lose, one side goes to the final. I'm very envious of those players. Look at them enjoying this moment. Still work to be done before they pick that famous trophy up, though.